Monday morning, we're back at them, guys. I hope you guys are doing good. As you guys can see, I'm in the shop truck. I'm actually running a few errands for my boss, and uh, while I'm out, I'm gonna stop by Cummins and take you guys with me. We're gonna go grab uh, those gaskets and such, and uh, hopefully we can get this truck running. I most likely will be taking off work tomorrow to get a full day's worth of work on the Cummins. Uh, so you guys are going to be probably seeing all that stuff, so it's going to be a, a little bit of a lengthy video. I might have to split it up in two. We're going to see how it turns out, but I have to install my manifold. Uh, I actually have someone that's going to be rebuilding my HX35. I actually have to drop that off to him. Uh, I'm glad I remembered that because I almost forgot. My HX35 is leaking oil everywhere. It's all in my intercooling pipes. It's all in my intercooler. That's why I have to clean it out. I brought that to work with me too. I'm going to try to clean the intercooler out, get that turbo dropped off. He said he, he could get it done by Wednesday, so that's going to be the only thing that's going to be stopping us. We'll be able to fire up the Cummins NA naturally aspirated, but until we get the you know the turbo and, and everything bolted up that way, um, I'm not going to be able to drive it until I see that. So I'm going to go run these uh, parts for my boss and uh, these few errands, then I'll stop by the uh, parts store and we'll go from there, guys. I the Jeep instead. I dropped off the shop truck. Uh, went on lunch. So we're pulling up to Cummins now. I've got to pull up all the part numbers that I need. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys once I get everything. I'll probably take you in there with me. You mow that lawn, bro. I should have told you guys the time before I went in because it was about a 45 minute wait just to get all this stuff. And it was a lot cheaper than ordering it online. Just so you know, I'm opening my door so it's gonna get weird, whoa. So yeah, it was like $50 for the oil cooler kit online. I got it for uh, 30 bucks and uh, I got two intake gaskets there and uh, I'm assuming this is the whoa come here I'm assuming this is um, the gasket connection here seal oil I don't know it was one of them but it was hundred one dollars after tax I think it was gonna be like 140 something or 130 something online so hell yeah here's the crank seal crank seal in, in the installer. If you guys need these part numbers, I'll uh, show you here. Ah, where is it? Oh, there it is. And um, the oil cooler has two part numbers. I can get you guys a second one. I can put it in the description. What's up guys, I'm back at the shop. I don't have much time, so I've got the uh, timing gear case cover in the glass beater right now. I'm about to hit it. I'll show you guys real quick. So I'm about to hit that real quick. Like I said, I don't have much time. I gotta go uh, try to meet up with my uh, turbo builder, see if I can get that done, so. All right. Front cover's all cleaned up, guys. I uh, got a punch shear and uh, just tapped the seal on either side and popped it out. Everything's cleaned up. I'll take some brake cleaner, clean the inside of the seal, and uh, get ready to install my new one. Alright guys, so I didn't uh, really show the install because one, my phone's dying, two, I don't have my tripod, and three, it shook the shit out of the uh, workbench here. So what I did is uh, take this seal, this is the Cummins seal, uh, 3937111. This is the install tool they give you. It says to go in dry, set it on here, and tap it in until this is flush. And that's the correct depth that you're supposed to install it at. Here's the plastic... Uh, guide that will guide the uh, crank over the uh, front main seal here so other than that guys I've got everything cleaned up I'm gonna brake clean a little bit more and then I gotta go drop off my turbo all right guys I'm in a little bit of a rush so I can't do much explaining but uh, I'm meeting up with a guy from one of the uh, diesel crews here in uh, Colorado and he's gonna rebuild my HX 35 that way I can take the time tomorrow to throw my truck together and uh, 
by Wednesday he should have the turbo ready and we should be able to hit the road. So we're, uh, we're heading out to Brighton, Colorado right now to meet up with him. When we get out there, I'll uh, show you guys, I don't know, something. I don't even know if there's gonna be much to show you. So that's where I'm heading. And then after that, I gotta head back to the shop, grab some tools, and then tomorrow we're gonna be putting the Cummins together, so. Woo! Turbo was dropped off. Like I said, there wasn't much to film. Um, the gentleman was in his company uniform and stuff, so he didn't want to be filmed. The plus side, he said it might just take him a day to do it. He's got all the parts and everything that he needs. And uh, he knocked off $100 because it was so clean that it was already powder coated. The back of the exhaust housing had been hit with a glass meter, so he was really surprised to see a clean turbo. And I was like, look, I, man, I just need seals, man. I got the rest done, so. He was stoked to see that. He might get it done tonight, so I might have it back uh, tomorrow afternoon or Wednesday morning, which would be awesome. That way we can get the truck moving. Uh, so yeah, I'm heading to the shop now. I'm gonna grab some tools. As you guys can see, I'm uh, obviously driving. So I'm gonna hop off this uh, YouTube vlog right here, get to the shop, get my tools, head home, and I'll, I'll film tomorrow when I get to work on the truck. You guys be easy, I'll see you. Tuesday morning, what's going on guys? Got all the tools loaded up in the Jeep from the shop last night. Uh, I grabbed a bunch of stuff out of my toolbox and loaded it up in this uh, five gallon bucket. And uh, I'm gonna use the five gallon bucket so we can change the oil too. So that worked out hand in hand. I also got some good news. The turbo rebuilder is done with my turbo. We're actually gonna go pick that sucker up at noon. And uh, somebody else in Brighton might have a fender. So uh, it's my lead on a fender and I'm hoping that we can go and grab it, snag it up throw that on the truck that way I can have both batteries in there um, one of them is gonna need to be charged so I really want to maybe jump the truck off and then hopefully it'll run and charge up the battery worst case scenario we'll have to take it down to uh, the the evergreen um, Napa or uh, O'Reilly so with that being said guys I'm going to start I think I'm gonna pull off the alternator and um, clean up all of this area right here let me let me flip the camera around Clean up all of this area right here and uh, expose the oil cooler itself. I think I might have to move this heater core line. I'm obviously going to take the oil filter off. I'm going to leave this. Oh, no, it looks like I'm going to have to take this line off too to get this bolt out. So it's going to be a little bit of a tedious project. Hopefully it uh, isn't too much of a headache. So with that being said guys, I'm going to start ripping into this guy. I'm going to actually have to throw my phone on the charger. So I'm going to grab the tripod, throw it on time lapse, but if the battery starts getting low and it cuts short, that's the reason why. Um, I didn't charge my phone last night because I suck, so yeah. So as you guys just saw in that time lapse, I pretty much got everything out of the way so that way I can uh, pull this oil cooler off, get all these bolts out, and uh, replace those seals. I think my uh, hardest one is going to be this guy here and the guy behind this uh, turbo line, like I said before. I also drained the oil, and uh, when I took off the oil filter, that came out. It looks good. It's, uh, it's, it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't have any metal shavings. It um, doesn't smell like there's any fuel or anything in it, any coolant, so that's a plus. I'm just going to replace these uh, seals just to be safe, along with the uh, the front. I did a little bit more brake cleaning, but my phone's dying, so um, it's like on 8%. So I'm going to flip the camera around, and we're actually going to run down and get my turbo real quick. So we might be jumping around a little bit in these videos like we're about to do now. I'm going from working on the truck to going to pick up my turbo. The guy just messaged me. He said 12 o'clock, meet me at the same gas station we met at at Brighton. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and meet up with him along with the guy who's got a fender that's uh, was supposedly green. He's already sanded it down a little bit. It probably needs some more prep work. And uh, obviously it's going to have to be painted on the inside to match the rest of the engine bay, even though the engine bay is really not that clean. Um, so... 
We're gonna get back to this oil cooler seal. I don't wanna take it off and then leave it hanging halfway, you know, take it off and then come back to it halfway done. I'd rather do it uh, in, in one full sweep. That way I don't have any issues losing bolts or losing where I am or, you know, any of that nonsense. So it might be straightforward, but it's just something that I do. So we're gonna clean up real quick. I'm gonna go wash my hands. We're gonna fire up the Jeep. We're gonna go down to my girlfriend's, uh, her work, where she works at, and uh, we're gonna pick up her car because it gets better gas mileage and uh, save my transmission a little bit because it's just, it's just not doing so hot. Um, so we're gonna do that, hop in her car, go out to Brighton, meet up with those two guys, get the turbo, hopefully get the fender, come back, throw them in the Jeep, and then come back up here and get back to work. If I can get everything in there uh, done and I can get the fender on, that means we can throw both batteries in there and uh, pretty much get this whole passenger side cleaned up in the engine bay and it would make me really happy. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna quit talking. I'll see you guys down there in my girlfriend's Subaru. All right guys, we're here in the Subaru. It gets a little bit better gas mileage than the old Jeeper does over there. So my girlfriend was kind enough to let me use it today so I can run out to Brighton. It's gonna be about a, uh, I don't know, an hour or so, hour, 10 minutes probably with traffic, maybe a little less. So uh, when I get out there, guys, I'll, uh, I'll turn the camera on. I don't know if these guys are going to let me film them, but I've got one with a fender and one with my turbo. So, woo, I'm excited. I don't know what else to say, like, when that happens. Or, like, I don't know. Just want you guys to be excited for me. Hit that like button if you're excited. We made it out here to Brighton, guys. Um, I'm at the gas station where I met up with the gentleman yesterday, and uh, I got my turbo back. She looks great, guys. She's right here, sitting in the car. My fender actually just showed up too, so it's right there. I don't know if he wants to be filmed, but I'll show you guys in a second. Good looking third gen. He's got the bumper off because he's building one right now for it. I uh, got his Instagram and stuff, so I'll throw that up on my page and uh, also the description. But there's the fender that he sold me. There's the turbo. Let's go over there and uh, take a peek at that real quick since I didn't talk about it. All right, guys, so here's the turbo back from the uh, rebuilder I'm gonna be throwing in a couple pictures as you guys can see here the uh, the old kit that was inside of my uh, turbo the seals were shot the thrust bearing was shot the builder said from the looks of it it was probably a Japanese rebuild kit and it definitely had been opened up before so he got everything cleaned out looking good so she's uh, just about ready to install sorry for the sporadic clips there guys we uh, kind of broke out into a conversation about Cummins and uh, turbos and diesels the whole nine yards and I wasn't gonna break out the camera and start filming these guys while we were in the middle of conversations. My fenders behind me along with the turbo they're both hiding back there we'll check out the fender when we get back to the house some more I'm probably gonna wrap this video up we're coming on uh, 13 minutes 14 minutes and uh, I want to keep my videos uh, under 15 minutes fairly short and sweet that way I have content to upload to you guys every day Plus it helps me organize my footage a little bit better. I don't have to cram things into a, into a video. I can do these things in, in different parts so you guys can see every little thing that I'm doing and uh, every little thing that I replace. Like the front main seal for instance. I didn't get to film that and that's something that I wish I had, uh, I had filmed for you guys so I could show you the, the process. That's that for today's video guys. Thank you for watching and thank you for checking out the channel. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button. If you're returning and you like the video, please hit that like button. I'd appreciate it. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys are doing. Let me know what you guys are thinking about the build. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Take it easy. I'll see you guys tomorrow.